Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video with me, The Hooded Gamer. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make your own webcam overlay for streaming or making videos for use in OBS. I'll be working in Photoshop. So if this tutorial does help you, if it does, go ahead, hit the like button. And also if you're new around here, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. First thing all, let's go into Photoshop. So obviously once you're in here, we we'll click on File and click on New. I like to work with, where is it, 1920 by 1080 and change that to 300 and then change this one to pixels inches and we're going to work with a transparent background so once you've done that load that in and we'll have our first layer now what i like to do is start with a gradient just so we know what we start start with not to i think i've got two dark grays or something like that just so so just so we can sort of see what we're working with that is pretty much it so once we've got this we want to make a new layer make sure you layer with this we're just gonna put like background there we go and we're gonna make this is gonna be our our frame so once you come do that come down to this little tool here shape you're going to put a fill, none, stroke, black, and then we're going to put three uh, pixels of whatever you want to call it for the shape. Come onto here, hold shift, and we're just going to drag out. I mean, we could hold shift or redo it, depending on what you want to do. So I'm going to do that. Let's get that into the center of the middle. Control and A. Make sure you got that one, and then click on this one and this one here, and then we center it. Once we've done that, we're going to press Control and T. Hold uh, shift and alt, and drag out to make it bigger than we actually want it. So now we've done that, we are going to make another copy. So we're going to press Control, Hold Control and J, and we're going to duplicate that. Double click over here in this free spot, and then we're going to color overlay. We're going to make this way white. And once we've done that, we're going to make the opacity to about 40%, just so it's a little bit darker, you know. So once we've done that, we're going to press Control and T, and what we're going to do, oh, Control and T. What we're going to do now is hold shift and just drag down and make this box go inside the black box when it wants to. Obviously, do take your time with this. I'm just being quick for this for the tutorial's sake. Let's make that there like that. Let's bring this one in. Let's bring it about there. How are we looking with that? Is that there we go. That's looking good. It's looking good. So once we've done that, we're going to add a gradient to the bottom one. So we're going to, yet again, double click over here. Come down to, to the gradient overlay. Click on this box and we're going to choose one what you like. I'm going to go with this nice blue one because this is the colour of my uh, my channel. So once we've done that, add it on. It looks great. We're going to do exactly the same one to the top. We're going to double click. We're going to go gradient overlay. We're going to pick the same gradient. And what we're going to do now is untick the color overlay and press OK. And as you can see, the bottom box is a very sort of a darker than the top one, which is really nice. It gives it that depth and, and sort of a nice sort of feel to it. So once we've done that, we're going to rasterize these layers. We're going to rasterize this layer and we're going to rasterize this layer. So now potentially we could put these two together. Click on this one, hold shift, click that one, control and E, and it will be a nice little merge into one little frame or folder where you're going to call it so once we've done that we want to sort of add some text to the background so i've already got one i'm going to control and v and here it is it's a ba uh, battlefield 4 and what we want is this guy's back here just for like a different texture as you can see he's got like obviously army camo on and stuff like that so we want to make this a little bit see-through change the opacity just so we can see what we want obviously control and t and then we can make it a little bit bigger just to get make sure we want and you just got you just want to play around you know you want to find something what you quite like that's pretty much all to it so once you've got your gradient sort of thing what uh, the texture of the back what you want to do now is add a blur to it so go to filter blur we're going to go down to gaussian blur and we're going to do six it works really nice it looks really good so what we're going to do now is we're going to hold control click on this box come to the marquee tool click on the top one right click select inverse and then delete and then that will be on to your top frame as you see here so what you can do now is just bring up the opacity sort of depending where you want it in i'm going to pull it around about mm, 40 let's do 40 sake for the video oh why didn't that do it? 40, I want 40. There we go, 40%. And what you could do now is just go into the brush uh, razor, go into the harsh, the uh, the nice one, turn your harness down to zero, and we're just gonna get make it this a little slower, uh, smaller. And we're just gonna sort of just get rid of some of the light, light, like the bright lights coming through, just so we can sort of dull it down a bit. 
So that's pretty much the frame and the texture. So we, again, we can merge these two together. Hold, click, hold, shift, click on that one, control and E, and that'll be merged into it. So once we've done that, we can add in some other textures. So we can double click over here again. We can go down to Bevel and Boss. And as you see here, it's giving a real nice effect. We could change this to probably like outer or inner, depending on what you guys want. So as you can see here, it gives it sort of a depth and it makes like a, a frame and stuff like that. You can change the direction, up or down, depending on what you want, you change the depth. I'm gonna put it around about there. And I'm gonna just, you know, it's just playing around, see which one you want, let's see what the depth is on this one. Mm, I'm gonna keep it smooth for now, inner bevel, emboss, you know, you can change whatever you want, outer. I'm gonna put inner boss because it looks really nice. I actually quite like that. I just change like, the soften and stuff like that and the size. Let's keep it like that. So I'm going to leave it like that. So once we've got our, our frame, it does look a little bit boring. What we could do is add like a name box in if that's what we wanted to do. You could do whatever you sort of, you, you feel like to. So what I like to do now is go to the pen tool and make a new layer. We're going to click here. Uh, we're going to hold shift and click again. Sort of make an angle you want. So I'm just going to sort of just play around. Mm. Let's see how good that looks. Let's bring that there. So obviously now I'm going to right click. I'm gonna go fill. Obviously, just just if you're just copying what I'm doing, you'll be fine. Right click, delete path. So obviously now we've got this one. It's not gonna be the full length. So what we're gonna do now is duplicate this. Control and J. We're gonna Control and T. Right click and flip horizontal, and that that make us have sort of this box. So make sure they do line up so like you don't leave any gaps like that. So you can just like use your arrow keys and your keyboard just to give it a nice box. It's sort of a cheating way so you get like a perfect uh, angle on each side. Um, make sure these copy these layers are blended in together, mixed together, merged together. Is the word I'm looking for. And then what we want to do now is Control and T and make these a little bit bigger. So Control and hold sh Shift and Alt, drag them out, bring it down, and we want to try and get it sort of if you want it, just like that. That looks pretty nice, you know. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you could you could do all sorts. You could really do all sorts. And you know, what? I'm actually going to bring that in a little bit smaller. And what you could do is just make sure this is in the middle. There we go. So what I just did there is right click on uh, control on this one, control control click on this one, and just click, and then go to this one, and then just click the middle one, and then the, the box will be in the middle. So once we're going to do that. You could leave it like that, or you could just add it in the blue overlay. So you obviously, yet again, you just double click over here, add on the gradient overlay. Click on that, click on the gradient. Okay, okay. And it'll give you the gradient like that. And once again, we can add in the background. We can sort of just get the same texture. Let's bring this down. Something like, let's pull it. Let's put, it, let's put it there. So once again, we're gonna right click, uh, shift on this one, control click on this one, this one here, the marquee tool, set inverse, and then we're gonna delete, and that'll be on there. And then what we're gonna do now is just bring up the bright opacity if we wanted to, we could bring it down. It all depends on what you, you guys want, really. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now. You know, it stands out. You make it a little bit duller. It, it, it all depends. I mean, with a webcam overlay, you can do whatever you want. It's really that's what I mean. As it makes it unique to yourself. Okay, once we've got our name box, what I like to do now is add some stuff around the corner, which you could easily do just by using the pen tool. So we're gonna get and make sure it's a new layer, and we're just gonna come to the corner. Let's get it to the right size we want, so we're not gonna f it up, and we're just gonna draw out a nice little pattern. Or some, just add some shapes into it. I messed up there. Make sure you hold shift. We're gonna make a nice little one here. Go up here. Bring that a little bit out, and then here. And also, you can adjust. You can just switch whatever way you want it. Or if you want it shorter, smaller, thinner, stuff like that. I'm gonna bring that in. Bring this one down. Bring this one here. Then I think this one could do going a little bit longer, like that, and then link this one up to there. That looks better. So we're going to fill, make it black. 
So now we've got that one, that's pretty much what. Once you've got one done, it's pretty easy to go from there. So let's go back to the pen tool, the leap path, get rid of that line. And now we can actually use our, our move tool and we can just sort of place it wherever we want to. You know, I'm gonna put it for there for now. It's not gonna be perfect because I'm just doing it for the tutorial. But what we're gonna do now is control T, right click, and then flip horizontal. We're gonna hold shift and drag it over and we're going to try and get the same the same distance away from each corner just like that and to do this for all four corners so control T flip vertical this time hold shift come down and if it comes to lights too big for your if it overlaps your name box we will sort that out. So we will sort that in a minute. Obviously, I know it's not looking sh exactly straight, but like I said, I'm just doing it quickly. Obviously, when you guys do it, just take your time making your own f frame. So we're gonna just do that for now. And then what we're gonna do now is come back to the name boxes. The name box. We're gonna make that into one layer. And then what we're gonna do now. So this is this corner. So we're gonna make this all into one layer. So hold, uh, click, hold shift, click on the top one, control and E. Now I mean, merge it all together. Yeah, again, you can add in a overlay. I don't like adding the backgrounds to it. The background stock. I like having this one as just the gradients. As you can see, like that, it matches it. It looks really, really nice. I quite, I, you know, I actually quite like that. I'm not gonna lie. So once we've got that, that is pretty much it for the thing. You could add in your name. So I'm gonna quickly do that. I'm gonna click on this one here. Text tool comes up. I'm gonna use Jersey Sharp just for the tutorial sake. And then you just wanna write in your channel's name. So I'm gonna put in the hooded gamer. And once you've got your once you've got your font, you literally control T, hold shift and alt, drag it down, make it a little bit smaller, make sure it fits the box. There you go, lovely. And that, that is it. And when you save it, make sure you take it off the background so you have a transparent layer and then you can um, add that straight into OBS. So like I said guys, if it did help you, go ahead hit that like button. It'd be very much appreciated if you did. And also if you're new around here, go ahead hit that subscribe button. There'll be more daily videos coming your way onto the channel. So if you guys will be sticking around for that. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. But until then, as always, stay awesome.